Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another sports video, man. Y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video. Make sure you subscribe for more daily 2K, I mean 2K and NBA content. And uh, let's just get right to the news. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with all the trade news and trade rumors, CP3, we know he's we know he's going into free agency. We are the Celtics want George and Hayward. I mean, really, who doesn't want them? You can want anything you want. Doesn't mean you're gonna get it. Westbrook opened the signing extension. Of course, everybody wants Paul George. We've already seen that the Wolves want to deal Rubio. We know this because we said it the other day when they got all those guards that uh you know it's just really not gonna be any room for Rubio. 76 is expected to make a push for. Uh, or, or the Nets expect to make a push for Redick. Hey, who doesn't want a shooter? Both of those teams could use a shooter that can help spread the floor. And the Wizards extend qualifying offers to to Porter and uh, I can't even say Bogda, Bogdanovich. We're gonna we're gonna go with that. So all that's good and well, but the one thing that caught my eye here was Melo looking for a bow. Now we already know, and the Knicks are being reluctant. Of course they're gonna be reluctant. We're talking about a team that's that's looking to that they stand to lose Derrick Rose. They're looking like they're looking like they're gonna trade, or they're talking about trading Chris Stapp Porzingis, and then you're gonna lose your other person in your in the uh, in your big three, Melo, and you're just gonna let him, you're just gonna buy him out and let him walk. I don't think that's gonna happen, man. I mean, at the most, I think it's gonna be some type of sign and trade deal, or he may he may sign resign for less money and just so he can get traded to another team or something. But they're not gonna let Melo go for nothing, and you definitely not gonna voluntarily. Uh, let it happen. You're not gonna buy him out and then just let him walk. And that's that's why they said that. Uh, however, Phil Jackson and the and the Knicks, who are reluctant to agree to any deal that would get Melo out of New York. I mean, why would you do that right now when you don't know what the franchise is gonna look like? Now, if they get rid of Porzingis and they get and, and Derrick Rose goes, then I can see them doing something like that because at that point it's it's a clear salary dump move. But for right now, I think you're either gonna see Melo in New York and it's gonna be some kind of sign and trade where the Knicks get something back for him. But hey, it doesn't matter what I think. What you guys think? All right, now on to the super teams, man. And they're talking about the potential super teams that we can see and how they match up against the Warriors. The banana boat game, LeBron James, uh, Chris Paul, D. Wade, Carmelo, Anthony. How do they match up against the Warriors? I really don't think they match up too well against the Warriors, man. These are all older guys. That it would be like some, you know, older guys going for a last hurrah. The only team I can see that he, that even that this would even work with would be Los Angeles, and then so you'd have. But then I, I really, I, I mean, it have to be the Clippers, then obviously, right? And uh, if anybody could put it together, it would be Jerry West. But I just don't think that D. Wade has that amount of punching power left in him. And Melo, I mean, he ain't going to play defense, man. Who's going to play what position and all of that? Like, I just don't think that this is a team that really, really gets it done. I mean, you got a good nucleus with, with Kyrie and uh, LeBron. I mean, the only thing I would say is you would probably try to fit Melo in there for free. And D-Wade would just be someone that's just coming off the bench at this point. But um, I just don't see this team as if, – if these are the premier players – like, you lose me at D-Wade because D-Wade is just not that guy anymore. He is in spurts, but he, he's not that guy anymore. And then if you brought Melo in, you know, you might as well just stay in Cleveland and keep what you got. And hopefully Melo can go crazy and you can keep him on the range. But I really don't know if those teams could beat, could beat the Golden State Warriors because I just don't see um, how they match up defensively. And, uh, yeah, and see, they saying exactly what I'm saying five years ago. Yeah, but, I mean, it, those are not the same guys anymore, so it is what it is. Isaiah Thomas, Al Horford, Gordon Hayward, and uh, and Paul George. Oh, man, I just don't even know. I, I Like, that's, that would be a great super team. Could they beat the Warriors? I'm not even looking at the thing. I'm just thinking about it off the top of my head. Would, do I believe that this team could beat the Warriors? Oh, man, you It'd be tough. It would. It would depend on who their center was and what type of center they had. Center play they had. Um, yeah, I think this team could beat the Warriors. You got enough scoring power. You got Paul George to uh, defend, defend KD. Yeah, I, I think that's something that could that could happen. And uh, you know, but uh, consistently, could they beat them? That's the question. I mean, that's what they're saying. You know, no, they they find mismatch mismatches in the series and I think your biggest problem would be Al Horford being um 
I'm just look. I, I, I'm impartial to Al Horford. I really don't like him that much since he left Atlanta. I really didn't like him that much in Atlanta. I felt like, felt like, uh, you know, he was an undersized center or what have you. He should have been just playing power forward, but you know, it is what it is. And then you got the Big Easy, Chris Paul, Boogie Cousins, Anthony Davis. Nope, this team cannot beat the Warriors. Not even close. And that's what they're saying too. The closest team that I think they could beat them would be these guys here. If they play, it just will really depend on how they play defense. But I really think that. That eventually, you know, like you said, it would just be how many points they could score. I, I think this team could beat the Warriors. I think this team could get the Warriors, man. I mean, they got the mismatches, but I really think that this team could get the Warriors, especially with Tatum in the mix and all of that. But that's just my opinion, man. In seven games, though, damn. I don't know if they could beat them in seven games, but it would be a hell of a series, man. Which one do you think would be the closest one? The Banana Boat Gang, the, exp the Expendable All-Stars, this Boston team, or... The big ease, the big nothing is easy. Which one do you think? And Boogie lost a lot of weight too, man. But which one do you guys think will come the closest? I think the one that will come the closest will obviously be these guys. Um, you know, the expendable all stars. But that's just my opinion, man. So let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, Ice Cube and the Big Three Three on Three League, man. I watched it. Last night, they play their games on Sundays, and um, and then you they air them on Fox Sports 1 on Mondays. It's lit, man. We were playing. We, I was streaming last night. We were playing 2K, and we couldn't even hardly pay attention to the game because we were watching these older guys, the old the old NBA greats play. My One of my favorite players ever, Mamou abdul Raouf. he was playing. You know, his team won. And, I mean, it's just a very simple concept, man. It's just like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's, it, it was... It was just lit. And I it could just be because of the, there are players that I'm interested in because these are older guys that I grew up watching and that, the, and that you know, you might have the younger generation that just can't really adapt to it or what have you, man. But um, I'm not going to lie to you. It's something good to watch. It's very entertaining. Basketball is over, and it's just a complimentary league. But, uh, you know, they're just, they're just saying – that, you know, they, they may face some issues and all of that. But anything can face issues. It's just like the XFL, more or less. They get their own jerseys and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, it just is what it is, man. AI played last night. That was lit. Um, the, the game of the night was like uh, Deshaun Stevenson. He got busy last night. And uh, I think the game of the night was like Rashad McCants versus Steven Jackson. And that was a good game, man. But like I said, if you're not if you've not looked at the Big Three League, I'm not going to tell y'all a whole lot about it, man. Uh, you know, they had Junkyard Dog. Um, Jerome Williams was in it. I mean, just a litany of older players. You see Mike Sweetney right there. AI was trying to help one of his homeboys get into the league and all of that. I don't know, man. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. I'm just using this article as a template. I, I, I really don't care what they say. I enjoyed it. I'll be watching it every, every Monday that I can see. And you guys let me know. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be something that lasts and is here forever. This might be the only summer that it does, just like Shaq versus. But, hey, it's a good thing. It's something good to keep us rolling during the summer. But you guys let me know what you think, man. Did you watch it? Did you think it was cool? Do you think it's a cool idea? Or do you just think it's just something that's just going to flop? They've got arena sold out pretty much every weekend this summer. So, I mean, as far as that goes, it'll be fine. But I don't know, man. You guys let me know. And for our question of the day, man, out of all of the teams, do you think that anybody really has a chance to win against the Warriors unless they build a big three? Like, do you have to, is, is that what you're going to have to have to beat the Warriors right now? I really think so. I think that they're going to have to, the, the Warriors were built pretty much naturally without, you know, they just picked up KD with the trade, but with the, with the exception of that, they were built naturally. But is there a way to build a team naturally and beat those guys, or are you going to have to do what they did, build your team naturally, and then hope you can rent a superstar like Paul George or Melo or even LeBron if you can get him when he gets a little bit older and 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 try to win against them? I don't know, man. I don't think you can beat them naturally at this point. When KD leaves, of course you can, but with him there, fuck no, baby. There's no way you're going to beat them naturally. But that's just my opinion, man. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What's it going to take to beat 
the Warriors and what team would you put together? Like what pieces would you add to like like just just like what one of those big three teams? Or if you had to put together a big three team, like would you add like LeBron to Minnesota or something like that? You know what I'm saying? Like take a take an existing nucleus, add one player from any team, and let me know how you would build a team that would beat that would beat those guys. But I'm out of here, man. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.